If you are a Salesforce developer, you might have heard about DOM. But what exactly is DOM? Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to exactly understand what's DOM. But before that, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let's get back to our video. The DOM, that is document object model, is nothing but a cross-platform and language independent interface that treats an HTML or XML document as a tree structure, wherein each node is an object representing a part of the document. Now what does this exactly mean? So right now I have this LWC component in front of me, right? This is nothing but just an HTML part of your LWC component. This is an HTML part of your LWC component. So as you can see, we have a template. Our LWC component usually starts with template. And inside this template, I have our header one, right? Which represents welcome to Salesforce in five minutes, which writes uh, welcome to Salesforce in five minutes. And at the same level, I have one more called a section, right? Inside this section, I have a, pa a paragraph saying this, please subscribe to this channel. And then I have a division like div. And then in that div, I have a header two, which says, did you subscribe and something like that. Now what does this DOM does is this DOM will represent this HTML file similar to that of the tree structure. So let's I will show you a diagrammatical way how it would look like. So this is how it will, your LWC component would look like in DOM. So there is a template at the top as you can see there is a template at the top. Next at the top one more I have the, after the template I have a header one which says welcome to Salesforce in five minutes. So at the same level I have a header one which actually is showing welcome to Salesforce in five minutes. And at, at the level at which the header one is there, we have one more section, right? So this section, we have this section over here at the same level as that of the header one. And then under that section, I have a P that is paragraph, which which says, please subscribe to the channel. And under the section, I have a paragraph, right? Which was showing, please subscribe to this channel. Next, I have a division, which is at same level of that of paragraph. So P is at the same level of division. And under this div, I have a header to which says did you subscribe so under this division div or we can say div uh, I have a h2 that is header to which says did you subscribe so this is how your HTML file will be represented inside the DOM just like a tree structure right so this is what the DOM is DOM is nothing but basically it's an interface okay basically it's an interface that treats whatever your HTML file is right whatever your HTML file as a tree structure right whatever HTML file we had it representing it is representing it as a tree structure now where an each node all right each node that we have it represents an object of an HTML right template is an object of an HTML header one is an object of an HTML so each node is representing certain kind of an object of an HTML so now how this DOM works along with JavaScript right so what like for an example let's let's move to the JavaScript file let's say I have a, this JS file now from this DOM, I have to get something, right? I have to pick a value of certain part. Let's say I have to pick the value of header one. What we can do is in this case is this dot template, right? What does this, this template means? This template means the complete document. This template means the complete document from this document, which element do you want using to get that particular element? You can use query selector, right? Now I want, let's say I want header two, right? So I can write H2. So automatically from the complete DOM, this dot template, which represents the whole DOM. Okay. From that I'm using the query selector. I'm able to get a particular element that is H2. So this is how the DOM is used in JavaScript to get the particular value. And this is what the DOM is. DOM is basically a tree structure of your HTML file. So if you found this video helpful, please, please, please do subscribe to this channel.